Is there a difference in doing service design projects in a business to consumer environment versus a business to business environment? That's one of the questions I recently got in my selling service design with confidence scores and that's what I want to talk about in this video. Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to the Service Design Show. This show is all about helping you to design and deliver services that have a positive impact on people and are good for business. And in this video, like I said, uh, I'm going to address one of the questions that I get quite often and that is, can you do service design in the same way um, in a business to business environment as you do in a business to consumer environment. I think a lot of uh, service design projects uh, evolve around end users, consumers, but um, I see an increasing number of projects also focus on improving and designing new services in a business to business environment. And my perspective on this is that there isn't a big difference or there shouldn't be a big difference in doing business to business service design projects um, and when I say that uh, usually one of the things uh, people say back to me is well for instance research can't be done in the same way in a business to business context it is as it is in a business to consumer context so uh, for instance, I can't go out doing diary studies with the clients of my client in a business that doesn't fit the business to uh, business environment. And I think uh, the people who say that are totally right. And the essence of that is, uh, and for me, that's the essence of good service design is that you always try to contextualize and adapt your existing tools and methods uh, to the situation. Uh, but in the end, in the end, uh, the client in a business to business or the end user or the user in a business to business environment is also just a regular person with needs, desires, emotions. And I think the existing service design uh, tools and methods are really well equipped to also understand their needs and desires. So um, my answer is usually, if the person on the other end <laughs> in a business to business uh, context is actually a person, a real life person, then there shouldn't be much difference uh, in doing service design projects. Of course, there will be difference in the type of services you design, the type of solutions you come up, to, uh, come up with, but overall the process stays the same because we work with people we try to design something that makes sense for people and for business and it doesn't really matter if those people are uh, kids if they are patients in a hospital or if they are uh, purchasers within a big corporation that's at least what i think of it and one thing to add to this is um, when you don't think in business to consumer or business to business and think about doing service design projects to improve internal services which has been coming up uh, a lot lately uh, then you might also think well uh, are my colleagues uh, uh, the client or the end users in a uh, in an internal department uh, service improvement project and yes they are and I don't think um, people should treat uh, internal departments or internal services any different than uh, external services or business to consumer services. So to wrap this up, no, I don't think there is a big difference in doing service design projects for business to consumers and business to business. I think uh, the service design toolkit is well equipped to deal with those situations as well. As long as you understand you're just working for people uh, that's the most important thing. So I'm really curious, what is your perspective on this? Do you see a big difference in uh, business to consumer versus business to business service design projects? Let me know down below in the comments. I'd really like to learn from you how you think about this. So thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.